Okay, this is going to be for Capricorn for after retrograde. What messages do we have for Capricorn after retrograde? Oh, should I miss Sag again? All right, we're going to do Sag after. Sorry. Looks like you're going through some sort of heartbreak right now. This does not mean it has to be romantic. We will find out from the cards, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it could be like a loss of a job. I feel like you're moving on from heartbreak. Yes, you are. We have the Wheel of Fortune where everything is, you know, a possibility with the world. So, so you're not looking backwards. You're moving forward with whatever this was. The number 10 is relevant. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um... If you, um, if you don't know it, this person still watches you just to let you know, uh, they, they, they feel very bad about whatever transpired between the two of you. They have zero happiness right now. Could be a Leo. They're not going to come forward with any communication and neither are you. I feel like this was a fair, fair haired person. It's funny, you know, you know what kind of sucks is um, this could be due to the retrograde situation. You know, everything kind of gets crazy. Um, but this is for, you know, after. The two of you were actually like a good match, like like a, like an ideal situation. We have the king with the queen. And anytime I have a king with a queen, um, it means like, you know, that that has the possibility to be your person. You know, um, the communication is is not good between you two right now. And and I don't feel like you are sitting there um, depressed over, even if you are depressed on it, you're just sort of like focused on other stuff. Let's get two more cards. Oh my goodness. Actually, Capricorn, give it a little bit. Um, you or this person are in a, in a lot of turmoil, like a lot. Um we have the nine of swords and the nine of wands. It's sort of like, you know, like the most depressive, depressed state you could be in. Though I'm not really feeling like it's you because you've moved, you like you are focused. So if you have some depression or if you're feeling sad, I feel like it hasn't made you lose your momentum. Um, the thing is, I do see an apology here. Like whatever happened, I do see an apology coming. Um, okay. So what I think what happened here is, um, this apology, whether it's you or your person, I'm really feeling heavily that it's your person, but I could be wrong. You know, you guys know better than I do. Um, there was some sort of betrayal here. It could have been because of an addiction. It could just be an addiction to another person, an addiction to cheating. Like, you know, those people that just can't not cheat um that's what this is what it looks like it literally looks like it's a, a case of that where the, the person just can't like have just one person it's it's not in them um so do i expect an apology yes do i see this person's in a horrible state over it yes do i think that they committed some sort of um betrayal to you oh absolutely yes my suggestion always to people always um, is if you were in a situation like that. I just don't think that's one of those things that can be worked out. I just don't. I know, I'm sure there are people that it does, but I just don't. I still, I see you focusing on your own shit. Honestly, that's what it looks like here. All right, so if you're wondering if your person is still upset, your person's very upset. If you're wondering if you're ever going to hear from them again, yes, you are. You will get that apology. Were you correct? Are they still going to be the same person? Yes, they're not going to change. You are now focused on something else. I actually love that for you, Capricorn, because, you know, I wish, I wish I could do that. I never move on very quickly, unfortunately. So, um... But I'm glad to see that you um, are not being stupid. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy.